What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building back with another video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel now Let's get into this one really quickly guys. So today guys, we are talking about the IBF super middleweight champion Caleb Sweethands plant now you guys know he has a showdown coming up with four division champion unified champion at 168 the face of boxing guys Canelo Alvarez uh, the fight date is November 6th in Las Vegas Nevada uh, God willing guys I will be in attendance at that fight I think that's going to be a great great fight but anyway guys in light of the stuff going on uh, with Oscar Valdez I uh, just want to do a quick recap of that for people who may not know uh, Oscar Valdez uh, who fights at 130 pounds he's a WBC champion got popped for having a banned substance in his system I think the substance was called uh, fentamine now fentamine is a weight loss drug uh, used by obese people to suppress appetite to shed weight and some people say it does give you energy and endurance so a lot of people in the boxing space said, you know, that sounds like a, a performance enhancing uh, stimulant. Now, the Boxing Commission let the fight, green lighted the fight to take place. The WBC decided to not administer any type of punishment to Oscar Valdez. Now, a lot of people spoke out this uh, even before this went down, even before this decision went down. Uh, a lot of the fighters had things to say. Of course, we talked about Devin Haney. He had something to say. Tank Davis had something to say. Errol Spence Jr. And of course, Caleb Plant. You know, he kind of went at Canelo Alvarez a little bit. And uh, I talked a little bit briefly about tying Canelo Alvarez into the situation. How I thought that it should just really focus on Oscar Valdez uh, since it was his situation and he's a grown man. And uh, this shouldn't be about Canelo Alvarez, but I did say I understand how people would do that, that would be looking at the, the camp kind of skeptically, but at the same time, I think this was a situation that had to do with Oscar Valdez. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Canelo Alvarez was popped back in 2018 for having a substance called clombuterol in his system, but it's a little bit of gray area there because he said that he got it from eating tainted meat down in Mexico, tainted beef. Now that that is possible that, that that can happen. So, you know, some people are riding with him on that, that it was a mistake. And then of course, some people believe that, you know, he's telling a lie and that he took the computer roll on purpose. Uh, regardless of all that, guys, he did pay a price for that. Uh, he was suspended for six months. Uh, whether you agree if it was enough punishment or not, uh, he did uh, pay a price for it. So uh, I didn't really think, you know, he should be tied in with this situation with Oscar Valdez. Uh, this is Oscar Valdez's situation. But anyway, uh, Caleb Plant, like I said, he went kind of on a Twitter rant. He had a lot to say about this. Uh, I want to read one quote in particular that he had to say about uh, this situation with Canelo Alvarez and the tainted beef. So he says here, you mean to tell me you have made over 1 million and live in San Diego, but you ate some tacos or a steak at some random ass taco stand in Mexico or some random ass steak and just doing that once made your levels that high. So a lot of people are saying, well, you know, Caleb Plant saying this stuff, he's trying to set up a built-in excuse uh, for fight time when he loses to Canelo Alvarez. Uh, do I believe that? Honestly, no, I don't think he's setting up an excuse. I don't think he's afraid of Canelo Alvarez. Uh, I think he truly believes in his heart that Canelo Alvarez cheated. You know, some people are going to believe it. Like I said, some people are not. So I think he really believes this. Uh, he, he believes it so strongly that he decided to speak out against it and at the same time I think it's a little bit of gamesmanship on his part it's psychological warfare the fights coming you know the fights just not in the ring guys it's outside of the ring you know the verbal back and forth between camps and I think Caleb Plant has taken the first shot shot across the bow and, and that's how these things go but uh 
I think it's going to be an awesome fight. Uh, I, I keep saying this. I'll, I'll, I'll reiterate. Never overlook your opponent. I think Caleb Plant, even though you know he's an unknown in, in a lot of spaces, uh, true boxing fans, hardcore boxing fans know who he is. I think he will be prepared come fight time. I think Canelo Alvarez should not take him lightly, but Canelo Alvarez never takes any opponent lightly, in my opinion. I, I mentioned it before. I think some of the fans do take fighters lightly sometimes. They see fighters as their favorite fighter as just unbeatable, but it's boxing. Anybody can be beat in boxing. Uh, all it takes is one bad night. All it takes is one punch sometime, and it can it can change everything, guys. So uh, you guys tell me what you think about this situation. Uh, do you think it's fair that people are coming at Canelo Alvarez uh, for the situation going on with Oscar Valdez? Or do, or, or do you think uh, people are just hating because Canelo Alvarez is the top dog in the sport right now and, and people want to knock him off of his pedestal? But like I said, uh, Caleb Plant and him will be having a showdown November 6th and he will get his chance to try and knock Canelo Alvarez off the pedestal and become the undisputed champion at 168 pounds. So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.